holder of a doctorate degree in law from Amadou Bello University, Zaria, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Muhammad from Bauchi State is the most senior justice of the Supreme Court and therefore his appointment as the acting chief justice of Nigeria pending final determination of the cases against Justice Walter Onogen. At a brief swearing-in ceremony, President Muhammad Buhari said his decision to wholeheartedly obey the order of the Code of Conduct Tribunal is in line with his administration's avowed respect for the rule of law. He said apart from the grievous allegations in the petition against Justice Onogen, security agencies have also traced other suspicious transactions running into millions of dollars to his personal accounts, either undeclared or improperly declared, to which he admitted, citing mistake and forgetfulness as reasons. One expected that with his moral authority so wounded by these serious charges of corruption, more so by his own written admission, Justice Walter Onogen would have acted swiftly to spare our judicial arm further disrepute by removing himself from superintending over it while his trial lasted. Unfortunately, he has not done so. The Chief Justice of Nigeria and his legal team have made nonsense of the efforts of the Code of Conduct Tribunal to hear the allegation on merit and conclude the trial as quickly as possible. Since the trial commenced, President Buhari said every other day the nation witnessed various courts granting orders and counter orders in favor of the chief justice of Nigeria characterized by what he called unholy alacrity. In the midst of all these distracting events, the essential question of whether the accused chief justice actually has a case to answer has been lost in the squabble over the form and nature of his trial. This should not be so. Nigeria is a constitutional democracy and no one must be or be seen to be above the law. Unfortunately, the drama around the trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria has challenged that pillar of justice in the perception of the ordinary man on the street. If justice cannot be done and clearly seen to be done, Society itself is at risk of the most unimaginable chaos. As a government, we cannot stand by wailing and wringing our hands helplessly, but to give full backing and support to those brave elements within the judiciary who act forthrightly, irrespective of who is involved. The president said, with the fight against corruption as one of the tripod of policies promised Nigerians by his administration, this cannot be achieved without the cooperation of the legislature and judiciary. It is no secret that this government is dissatisfied with the alarm rate in which the Supreme Court of Nigeria, under the oversight of Justice Walter, has serially set free persons accused of the most dire acts of corruption, often on mere technicalities. Several of these individuals walk free among us today, enjoying what are clearly the proceeds of the corruption which for so long has defeated the efforts of this nation to develop and prosper. President Buhari made a case for Nigerians to take the part of honor by standing together in the fight against corruption so that the nation can be properly positioned for accelerated development.